What a ninth level two to the world, my trenches babies, you guys. Tonight was so so amazing. It was so interesting. It was cool. Let me just give you guys. Let's not even get so excited. Let me just take things one step at a time. Let me, let me give you guys all. Let me tell you guys. See, I'm now even. <laughs> I'm now just talking, talking, talking. Okay. Hmm. So let me tell you guys how tonight went. The final eviction day. The moment the winner was announced. Everything that happened today. Welcome back to my channel, guys. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so that I can get notified each time I post a brand new video. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So they started off with Ibuka being in the diary room. He had a diary room section. I was like, ah, ah what is Ibuka doing here? So people are just asking him different questions, how he's feeling. He now asked him about his experience when he was in the house. He spoke about his experience when he was in the house and how his diary room sessions were. And then um, Ibuka also wore a jacket that had the housemates faces on it. So Big Brother and I had a bit of a frosty relationship back then. I hated nominations. Um, but yeah, this feels different. I mean, there's no tension here for me to try and, uh, like they say, backstab any of my fellow housemates. So this feels good and this is very nice and welcoming so yeah then Ibuka also sent me brother to go and buy salt that moment with Diana was very legendary so Ibuka just sent him to buy salt and they just had a chill time in the diary room then we had MI MI was the first artist that performed on stage he performed the guy right then after that they brought Chizzy and Rachel on stage and you know did the normal questioning for Chizzy they just asked him about the experience in the house and they thanked them for being you know big brothers riders and doing a good job for cheesy ibuka asked him which part of how much of him was him being a rider and him being himself and it was like it was 50 50. he also asked him about doe he now said you know doe is a good girl he was just beating around the bush ibuka said he would get back to him but he never really did i would say he's 50 50. the rider 50. cheesy 50. doe what's up mm. First of all, I must say that Doin, Doin is a, she's a lovely soul, she's a good, she's a good girl. Then as for Rachel, Ibuka asked her how much of um, the things she did in the house was her being a rider and her being herself. And she said the same thing too, 50-50. He now asked her about Giddy Fire. Rachel said, Giddy Fire, um, Giddy Fire, she saw, um, she saw his fine. She was actually looking really fine. On the percentage level, I think it was also a 50-50 for me. I was more of a rider and also more of myself. <laughs> I'm sure he's fine. You are sure you've not seen it? I've seen him yesterday. Um, I believe he's fine. Then people announced folks to them the top six. You guys know this part is really very emotional. He was just encouraging them, telling them nice, nice things. Called Daniela the poet. Called uh, what they call him Adekunle, the barbecue uh, man. Just said so many nice, nice things to them, and then just be, um, you know just told them to go into the world and do good. Some of them were crying. You have become forces of nature, immovable irresistible unstoppable housemates yes, this goodbye will herald the beginning of your reign as royalty then the first person that was evicted was daniela some people were saying that it was going to be chichi but I, I personally knew that it was going to be daniela so it was not surprising to me at all so daniela was the next person that was evicted she actually left in a joyful way she just held them like okay i'm gonna see you guys on the outside and then that's when she left daniela Is big brother. When she came on stage, she was still very much excited. Then she saw her twin brother. She just thanked the audience. So then it was more of just, you know, saying your thank yous to the audience. And then Ibuka asked her whether she feels like she made she made gen genuine friends in the house. And she said yes, that she made family. She called their names, Brian, um, you know, Kes, Modella, just called the names of the people that she considers um, to be her friend. Brother, oh my god, um, I'm just really, really excited. Um, I'm super grateful to God, to every single person who supported me. Thank you so, so much. It means the world to me, and I can't wait to show you what I have in store. Then the next person that was evicted was Chichi. When she was evicted, she was like, Don't sleep on the fame. If you sleep, you slumber. Then, um, Adikilena Lena told her that when she goes out, she shouldn't let anybody make her cry. She was like, Nah, they can't do that. She's a bad bitch. I was like, Okay. Then she now left the house. She also left on a joyous um, note. She was all chilled and stuff. When she 
came out, Ibu kind of asked her why she made statements about the fact that she didn't feel like she was going to get to the finals. You guys know that when she was in the house, she was always saying she feels like people will hate her outside. She doesn't know if she'll get to the finals and all. And she was like, it's because of the misunderstandings that she had in the house. She just felt like maybe people will not really like that. I'm so happy to see all of you and I love you so much. I love you too, guys. You know, you kept saying in the last week that you never thought you were going to be in the finals. Why did you think that and what do you think got you here? Okay, because it was um, the misunderstandings I had with the people in the house. So. Then Faust came on stage to perform. He performed Gentleman, Bob Daddy, Squanda. It was a chill performance. After that, um, Ibu kind of went in to evict Adekunle. This one was also expected, right? In fact, the way their vision was just going tonight was just the way I expected it to go. So he just called Adekunle out. Adekunle also left in a chilled way. Then when he came out, he also saw his people in the crowd, his mom, his dad. Then for the person that Ibuka asked him, Ibuka just asked him um, whether he feels like he made genuine friends in the house. And he said yes, that he made you know a good number of friends. Then he proceeded to call their names. Those are just the main questions that Ibuka asked whether they made friends and also ask like what's next for them, you know. Diana, Giddy Fire, Hello Swag, Chomsey, Brian, Daniela. Um, yeah, maybe, you never know. Um, um, I don't know, I'm too gas, my heart is beating really fast. I can't remember everybody's name, but I definitely did make friends in the show. Then the next person that was evicted from the house was Bella. This one was a bit shaky for some people, but for me, I, I kind of already knew that she was going to be the next to leave. Even from stage, some people were already calling her name. That audience, you guys. Then um, they now called her name while she was leaving. Fina now started hailing Brian as like, ah, top two and all of that. She now spoke about the fact that they came in together and, you know, they are in the top two. Bella! <laughs> when she came out, Ibuka just asked her about her experience in the house, like it was beautiful. Then he also asked her the friendship question. At some point, I just knew that if you come out, they'll ask you that. So he also asked her about the people she feels like, um, you know, the friendship that she made in the house because she said that she didn't, she didn't, come, she didn't go there to make friends and all of that. But she said she ended up making friends. She called Elo Swag, she called Chomzi. Ibuka didn't ask her any relationship related question. I was expecting him to do that, but I just think that there was no time for any of that, so he just rushed everything. She also saw her brother in, in the crowd. I'm super excited, thank you all so much. Do you think you actually made friends eventually in this house? And who are they? I made friends, so. I mean, Chomzi, Eluswa, Dotu, I made lots of friends. Then the emotional moment came when the top two stepped out of the house together the same way they entered. So they, they went, they entered from level two, they entered from level two, they came out from level one to top two. It was really nice to see. Then the turning off, turn, turning off of the lights. <laughs> Then we had Fuse on stage, he performed Finesse and Electricity. Then we also had the audience on the other side, but it was Ms. Vig that was the host for the other side. So she just did some, um, she just asked some questions. I usually don't really pay attention to that side, to be honest. Then the time, the time of accountability, you guys, it was crazy. So Brian and Fina came on stage, people were just like shouting, who they, who they. In fact, it was at that moment that I think that maybe Brian sensed that. Maybe it's going to be Fina because when um, Brian's clothes came in, his clothes had his name on his back, so they were not calling him winner, winner, you know. So I guess maybe that would have made him feel like, hmm. you know, there's a high chance. So when they came out, they were not shouting Fina, so we're shouting Brian. They held both of them shout. Then that's when Ibukana announced the winner. The winner of Big Brother Niger Level Up Season 7 is Fina! It was crazy, crazy, crazy. Like everybody was going gaga on stage. She, as in the way she even fell on the floor. Like this is, yeah, the second female winner in um, Big Brother House. So let me just show you guys, or let's look at the, the, the voting polls. To be honest, this is the only thing that surprised me tonight. The gap, 
I did not expect that there was going to be this kind of gap. So we had Fina at 40.7 and then Brian at 26.7. I do not think that this year we we're going to have this kind of gap, gap because up until I think even till that like yesterday till today a lot of people were like ah it's like brian you know because he had a lot of he had a lot of people also supporting him so he felt shaky until tonight then um we had bella at 15.7 percent we had adekone at 12.3 percent these people actually really try though then chichi at two percent 2.4 percent and daniela at 1.8 percent oh more he choke he really really choke <laughs> so what surprised you guys the most did you think that Fina was going to win did you think that the result was going to be the gap was going to be like this so just let me know what you think about this congratulations to fin uh, finishon what's the other one i know uh Fina's people have a lot of names congratulations to brian also i believe that he's going to really do well in the music industry we are looking forward to hearing more of his music his nice and sorry serenading it's to be that English. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'm going to see you on the next one. Bye. Love you.